Look again, look again to the wind, my brother. Oh, look once more to the wind. Now we shall go forward. Now we shall shake hands. But we shall remember that once we owned this land. Look again, look again to the wind, my brother. Look once more to the wind. The greatness of our past, the nations and tribes, let it not be forgotten, let it be our pride. Look again, look again to the wind, my brother. Look once more to the wind. But we must go forward, forget what might have been. Greatness lies before us as clouds ride on the wind. Look again, look again to the wind, my brother. Look once more to the wind. Look again, look again to the wind, my brother. Look once more. The Senecas are an Indian tribe of the Iroquois nation. Down on the New York Pennsylvania line, you find their reservation. After the U.S. Revolution, Corn Planter was a chief. He told his tribe these men they could trust. That was his true belief. He went down to Independence Hall and there a treaty signed that promised peace with the USA and Indian rights combined. George Washington gave his signature and the government gave its hand. They said that now and forevermore, this was Indian land. As long as the moon shall rise, as long as the rivers flow, as long as the sun will shine, shall grow. On the Seneca Reservation, there is much sadness now. Washington's treaty has been broken, and there is no hope, no how. All across the Allegheny River, they're throwing up a dam. It will flood the Indian country, a proud day for Uncle Sam. It has broke the ancient treaty with a politician's grin. It will drown the Indians' graveyards. Corn planter, can you swim? The earth is mother to the Senecas, and they're trampling sacred ground. Change the mint green earth to black mud flats as Anna hobbles down. As the moon shall rise, as long as the rivers flow, as long as the sun will shine, as long as the grass shall grow. The Iroquois Indians used to rule from Canada way south. 
But no one fears the Indians now and smiles the liar's mouth. The Senecas hired an expert to figure another site. But the great good army engineers said that he had no right. Although he showed them another plan and showed them another way. They laughed in his face and said no deal. Ginuza Dam is here to stay. Congress turned the Indians down, brushed off the Indians' plea. So the Senecas have renamed the dam. They call it Lake Perfidy. As long as the moon shall rise, as long as the rivers flow, as long as the sun will shine, as long as the grass shall grow. Washington, Adams, and Kennedy now hear their pledges ring. The treaties are safe. We'll keep our words, but. What is that gurgling? Well, it's the backwater from Perfidy Lake, and it's rising all the time. Over the homes and over the fields and over the promises fine. No boats will sail on Lake Perfidy, and in winter it will fill. But in summer, it will be a swamp, and all the fish will kill. But the government. The USA has corrected George's vow. The father of our country must be wrong. What's an Indian, anyhow? As long as the moon shall rise, as long as the rivers flow, as long as the sun will shine. As long as the grass shall grow. As long as the moon shall rise. Look up. As long as the rivers flow. Look down. As long as the sun will shine. Are you warm? And as long. As the grass shall grow. Oh, it's trouble, 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 botheration on the double. It's trouble, trouble, trouble with those damned red skins, with those damned red skins, with the damned red skins. It's trouble, trouble, trouble with them damned red skins. We gave them reservations. We let them use the sun. And what did they ever give us in return for what we've done? Well, just a small potato and only chewing gum, cigarettes and rubber. After all, it's us who won. Well, it's trouble, trouble, trouble with those damn red skins. Trouble, trouble, trouble with those damn red skins. Or with the damn red skins. With those are damned red skins. It's trouble, trouble, trouble with those damned red skins. They only gave us cocaine and brain surgery, hot chocolate and cocoa. Now what does that mean to me? Well, just Thanksgiving dinner. And the fat turkey. Well, that is all they gave away to you and me. Oh, well, it's trouble, trouble, trouble with those damned red skins. Trouble, trouble, trouble with those damned red skins. From them damned red skins. Oh, with those damned red skins. It's trouble, trouble, trouble with those damned red skins. They only gave us peanuts. And quinine, but we gave them civilization—a gift so fine. They fought in all our wars, and they've dug in all our mines, 
And they've been on the nickel, but never on the dime. Oh, well, it's trouble, trouble, trouble with those damn red skins. Trouble, trouble, trouble on those damn red skins. From those damn red skins. From those damn red skins. It's trouble, trouble, trouble from those damn red skins. We patterned our government after the Eastern tribes. They had federated nations, the first that were inscribed. But what do we owe them? So, hey, John, move along. You can see we owe you nothing if you listen to this song. Cause there's trouble, trouble, trouble from those damned red skins. Trouble, trouble, trouble from those damned red skins. From those damned red skins. From those damned red skins. It's trouble, trouble, trouble from those damned red skins. What do you want, equality? Panther made the final stand of the Eastern Indians for Indian land. Now he wouldn't torture prisoners, but he sure could fight. And he gathered all the tribes into dynamite. He said the Ohio River was the boundary line. But his followers were too eager and to folly were inclined Before he got them organized Before he had them set They went out and got defeated And he ain't seen them yet Well, he joined the British Army And he fought with British arms But the British lost the battle Though it didn't do us much harm And he lost the Ohio River But he made a great name Tecumseh and Crouching Panther Those two are the same Take back your atom bomb Give us back the arrow God's eyes on the neutron as well as on the sparrow. Take back your fallout, give us back the boat. You whites are always in a hurry, but we don't want to go well now. Take back your atom bomb, give us back the arrow. God's eyes on the neutron as well as on the sparrow. Take back your heavy rains, give us back the sky. We liked it clean. We don't want to say goodbye, so won't you take back your atom bomb and give us back the arrow. God's eyes on the neutron as well as on the sparrow. Take back the megaton, give us back our lances. We'll make our own wars and we will dance our dances. We'll now take back your atom bomb and give us back the arrow. God's eyes on the neutron as well as on the We will find 
fight battles that are legends long. But of all our glory, none will stay who will remember I sang this song. Kai. Coyote, what have they done, little brother? Where, oh, where do you run? They strip down the mountain. They strychnine the plains, my little brother the coyote won't come back again. When you hear him singing, the few that are left, he is warning the human. Of his death, don't poison the mesas, don't poison the skies, or you won't be back, little brother. Goodbye. There will be no one to live. And no one to sing, and never and never will there be spring. Coyote, coyote. It up in lesser time. They made their state something less than sublime. It didn't take 'em long to be mean and low. To dispossess the Indian, they sure weren't slow. They have a reputation, and it rapidly comes forth. Alaska has become the Georgia of the North. Well, the Indian isn't hired; they import white skins. The Indian can't hunt, being there first with the original sin. Well, they can't hunt the moose without an expensive card, and when a town tries to dig a well, they find it was in the white man's yard. The biggest state in the union, it's got the biggest shame. Mistreating its minority, they've mistreated their name. Where、well, Alaska got to be a state, took a little time and they made it late, but they messed it up in lesser time. And they've got their state something less than sublime for Alaska. Got a reputation that rapidly comes forth. Alaska has become the Mississippi of the North.
Now I will tell you busters, I'm not a fan of Custers And the general, he don't ride well anymore Now to some he was a hero, but to me his score was zero And the general, he don't ride well anymore Now George, he'd had victories, but never massacres And the general, he don't ride well anymore Old George had done his fighting without too much excitin', and the general he don't ride with anymore. When the men were away hunting, old Custer come in pumpin', and the general he don't ride well anymore. He killed children, dogs, and women with victories he was swimming, and the general he don't ride well. Now the Sioux were getting tired and their temperatures were fired But the general, he don't ride well anymore Crazy horse sent out the call for sitting bull and gall And the general, he don't ride well anymore Twelve thousand warriors waited, they were unanticipated And the general, he don't ride well anymore Thus the little big horn massacre was born The general, he don't ride well anymore. The Cheyenne and the Sioux had quite a lot to do, and the general, he don't ride well anymore. Old Custer split his men, well, he won't do that again, cause the general, he don't ride well anymore. The proud 7th Cavalry, it got plum massacred, and the general, he don't ride well anymore. Custer made his stand with his little band And the general, he don't ride well anymore But he wasn't fighting women The Indians let them hit him And the general, he don't ride well anymore Custer got eliminated And his legend uncreated And the general, he don't ride well anymore It's not called an Indian victory But a bloody massacre And the general There would have been more enthusiasm if them Indians were losing, but the general, he don't ride well anymore. General George A. Custer, his yellow hair had luster, but the general, he don't ride well anymore. He got barbered violent, and now old George is silent, and the general, he don't ride well. on the plains Why do they limp Why are they main It's the trail of tears It's the trail of tears They called it the Cherokee removal But the contractors uh, didn't care Well, they rode in wagons uh, And they walked barefoot And they walked in the winter air Who are those ghosts That pass on the plain Why do they limp? Why are they maimed? It's the trail of tears. It's the trail of tears. They moved an entire Indian nation from Tennessee. Taking them west to a new reservation And the Oklahoma drought Who are those ghosts That pass on the plains And 
why do they limp? And why are they maimed? It's the trail of tears. It's the trail of tears. The contractors didn't care how they moved them, so they herded them like cattle. Mile by mile, the women and children died, and instead of drums, death rattles. Who are those ghosts that pass on the plains? Why do they limp? Why are they maimed? It's a trail of tears. It's a trail of tears. They died by tens and hundreds and thousands. Still the march went on. The contractors are going to make a buck, and so they forged on. And they got them to Oklahoma, and they settled them down. And when they got them settled down on Oklahoma's arid soil, there were only a few that had begun. And then that few struck oil. Tell me, who are those ghosts we see on the plains? Why do they stagger? charge you rent for every treaty broken for every treaty bent we're making reservations they're gonna be just for whites we'll be honest about the white man's rights hey mr president we're gonna charge you rent for every treaty broken and every treaty bent we're gonna be the tourists we'll come to see you dance you let us know reason why you plans oh well hey mr president we're gonna charge you rent for every treaty broken and every treaty bent we're not unpatriotic we just like to see like to see your culture how intriguing it will be well now hey mr president we're gonna charge you rent for every treaty broken and every treaty bent get out your medicine men, you get out your squaws, and we'll give you justice under Indian laws. Well now, hey Mr. President, we're gonna charge you rent for every treaty broken and every treaty bent. I said now, hey, hey Mr. President, we're gonna charge you rent for every treaty Out in the Navajo Reservation, there was a tourista. Fella, he was hung all over with cameras. And he was wearing one of these bright sports shirts. And he stopped out there in that Navajo Reservation. He went up to Hogan. There was an old man sitting there. And he said to him, are you an Indian? And the old man said, yes. And he said, well, now... Why don't you teach us some Indian words? He said, now, for instance, uh, what is that? And the old man said, that is a woman. Well, the tourist said, I know that. He said, what about that? What's that? He said, well, the man said, that's a rabbit. And the tourist said, well, I know that. Well, what about that mountain over there? And the old man said, well, that's a sacred mountain. And the tourist said, well... What about those little fuzzy things out there? What are those? And the old man said, those are sheep. 
And the tourist said, well, what about that fellow that's taking care of them sheep? He said, that's my son. And the tourist said, well, I guess I can't learn very much here. At least I know what Navajo means. It means Indian. The old man said, well, you're wrong there. Navajo means people. I knew a Indian bronc rider who died. He broke his neck. And I happened to be with him. He's a very good friend of mine. Just before he died, he died right in the arena. And his last words to me were this. Peter Buckenhorse, I don't even know where the girls are now. <laughs> 